Hi, my name is Karthik and I am from ExecuteAutomation.com and welcome to part 3 of our TypeScript Fundamental video series. And this we will be talking about working with variable declarations and types in TypeScript. And before watching this part, I would request you to watch part 1 and 2 since this part is going to be a continuation of those two parts. Types in TypeScript. So there are different types available in TypeScript which are almost available in JavaScript as well. Something like number, string, boolean, any, void, null. So these are the different kinds of type that is available in TypeScript. So basically these types are something which we'll be using across this course to see how to get their job done. And again, these are very, very self-explanatory except the any type because the any type is something, it's like a type uh, which is, which can be used if you don't really know what type it is. So that's why it is called as any type. Except this any type, other types are very, very self-explanatory, which is again available in all the languages like C Sharp, Java, or any language that you are familiar with, right? So that's what is the different types available in TypeScript. And similarly, the variable declaration in TypeScript is also very, very easy. So you can see that one small change, once again, in the TypeScript is this. We will have something called as a let, and const is something which is available in other languages as well. And there is a var, again in C-sharp, var is something called as a implicitly typed variable. And here it is not called as implicitly typed variable, where it is something called as a global variable, where you can use the var only one times in a scope of the global scope of the particular code. Right, so this is the uh, variable declarations that you can use within the TypeScript. So let's quickly see a demo of what we discussed so far. So in our previous video, we configured the Visual Studio Code to work with TypeScript. So I'm just going to stop it. And remember, in our previous video, we just removed something from a settings file. So for doing that, again, go to the file, and go to the preferences, and go to the settings. And within this setting, there is something called as a workspace setting. So this workspace setting is very, very useful because within this workspace setting, you can actually set different kinds of options that you can even search with. There are 299 settings available. So you can see there is a setting for the get, there is a setting for search. And the one which I'm interested in is this editor.font size because the font size is very small. So if I want to change this, the editor dot font size to maybe from 14 to let's say I'm going to change this to 18. If I save it, you can see instantly the size of the font is changing in our editor. So I'm just going to leave it to 18. I'm just going to save it. And for the user setting, again, guys, this app.js and app.js.map file are the two files which I'm not really interested in to see because it is going to be cumbersome as well. So instead of looking them every time, instead of working with the TypeScript file, I can just hide those files or exclude those files to be listed in my explorer over here, which I can actually do using this, the star star slash star dot json, oops, js file. And I'm going to set this to true. And save it and you can see that instantly the JS file from the Explorer is missing and you can just keep an eye on this map file and You will see that that's also going to be disappearing in a few seconds So I'm going to say star star slash star dot JS dot map and I'm going to set this to True you can see if I save this the map file is going to be missing this file Boom, it's gone and you can see that this is really, really helpful because when we start working with the Visual Studio code and the TypeScript, if you have the TS file and the map file, it's going to be really confusing if the application is going to be going bigger. So these are some of the homeworks that we need to do before we start working with the TypeScript itself. That's why I'm doing this. So now the, the screen size is bigger and similarly, we don't really have a clutter over here to see the code unnecessarily. So Visual Studio code, these files, we don't really even touch it even further. So I'm going to minimize that. And the only file you can work with is the app.ts file, not even the ts.json file very quickly yet. So I'm going to save it, right? So as I already said, the variable declaration is very, very easy in our code. So we can declare the variable as let, and you can say a is equal to maybe 10. And if you want to 
print that code you can just write console.log and then you can just print the line so what's the difference between a let and a variable so let's say if i want to use the let within something like a function or a variable within a for loop or a catch you can use let variable declaration but if you want to use a var which is going to be used or set only once or maybe something which is going to be used across the different functions within your code then you can use the var instead of using let because the scope of let is very limited to the block of the code for instance if you don't write a for loop code so for something like i'm just going to write a dummy code because we have not even discussed about the for loop yet so i'm just going to say for in a s something like that which is not exist uh, i'm just going to say let a right so there is no compliant from the compiler yet but if i change the a to maybe different type here let's say karthik or something like that it's a string type still it is not complaining the compiler is not compli complaining that there is the same variable type with different types being used so it is a number type and it is a string type but still there is no complaint from the compiler and you can see that this is how the let is actually working so what if i change this uh, let to maybe var and if i change this to var you can see now the compiler is throwing us an error Reader screw line there it says that the subsequent variable declaration must have the same type so variable a must be of type number but here the type is string so that's what is the difference between a var type and a let uh, variable type declaration so you can see that the scope of the let is actually limited to the particular uh, block and since it the let is declared in the for loops for loop scope the Compliant was not there in the let, but for the ver, it is actually showing us the information. So what if I just do something like this? Let a is equal to 10, right? And this is also, let's say a is equal to Karthik. So I'm just going to copy this code, and if I paste it over here, we are getting an error here from the compiler. It says it cannot redeclare blocked scope variable a. So you cannot use that as well. So that's the problem, right? So this is what is the let and var and the last thing is the const so we will be using this const while we want to declare the variable type which is not going to change just like a getter you're going to use and you don't really have to set any value in there const can be used right so this is the variable declaration so we also noted that there are different types is being coming in from the intelligence while we will start looking at the code so if I just go over here to the A, you can see that the let A colon space, there is a string type. So this is a string type variable. Similarly, if I go to the A, it is a number type. So we don't really have to specify the type explicitly here. TypeScript is automatically resolving its type by seeing the number or the string being declared for the particular variable, right? So you can also assign something like this. So if I say it's a number, you're explicitly saying it's a number. Similarly, you can just say a string. So this is how you can declare the type for that particular variable that you're going to assign, right? So if you're going to say Boolean, now you get an error here. It says that the Boolean should be of true or false, but the type is actually 10, which is not assignable to the Boolean. So you can assign this to true or false in here right which works so you can assign a type something like this in the TypeScript and again guys this is really really easy to do in TypeScript because you can do something like this very easily but the same thing is not available in JavaScript code by the way so let's say I'm gonna say let a is boolean similarly let uh, b is gonna be of string type and I'm gonna assign a value of cars dig there and similarly let or maybe var type, oops, var k, which is going to be a number type, and I'm going to assign a value for that. I'm just going to save it, and since we don't really see the JavaScript file behind the scene, so if I go to the TypeScript basic file, and if I go to the app.js file, or rather doing that, if I go to the settings, 
and for now let's try to uncomment this code because we're just doing the basics for now so now if i come over here you can see within this js file it's all var type there is nothing called number string it's all var in the javascript file behind the scene but here for the typescript we have given a type explicitly being specified which javascript don't have that's the problem with javascript itself you don't really have any kind of type within javascript everything is type interfered automatically based on the value that is being passed in there and you don't really have any type being specified for that which is the problem with the javascript and that's why typescript is really really handy as i already said before so this is what is the type declarations and different types which is available in typescript so once again guys thank you very much for watching this video and have a great day